Hey everyone, I've been playing lots of Highlander Priest. I've been playing around with the list, trying out things. I started off with the Rivendare stuff. I started off, uh, I did a lot of different tryouts, trying out, you know, uh, I tried Plague Spreader. So the original lists were kind of running uh, Rivendare as their main win condition. Uh, in, uh, so to pull off a lease and you'd play Rivendare and then you'd pull out all of them. Uh, and the idea was the Showered Ruin. In practice, you'd, you never never actually got there, you know, uh, it was way, way, way too slow. And vulnerable to decks that you could do that slowest from World of Disruption, things like Patchwork. So I changed the deck to be more tempo focused with a little bit of disruption. So what disruption are we running? We're running Plague Spreader. Plague Spreader is race nice for two reasons. One, uh, it kind of just curves out. Uh, but two, if they play it again, you can play your copy and then those copies come back from Rodden. So overall, uh, what I've turned the deck into, um, also Astalor, uh, so is a, cause Rodden was a card that got buffed in the last uh, the patch, which is the real winner. So Death Rattle summon each minion, other minion you play this game. So that also applies for that didn't start in your deck. So the five drop and the eight drop for Astalor come back too. And anything we play from our opponent's deck. So basically I've turned it more tempo focused. Uh, your big Elise play is really, really strong now. Why? Uh, so we have Zilix, uh, we have Amanthul, we have Yogg, uh, and we have Blackwater Behemoth. So when we play this card, uh, Elise, we usually get enough tempo to swing the board. For example, let's say our opponent has you know a big 12-12 uh, minion, uh, and we go Zil uh, we go Elise, and we get Zilix and Amanthul. We can actually duplicate the Zilix with the, the, the Amanthul, um, and then use that to get a big healing swing so there's just a lot of cool stuff we can do in general uh with the elise uh and we're just kind of tempoing out the, the deck actually feels much more vulnerable to aggro uh, just kind of uh especially when you mulk and incorrectly you, you know you think it's druid and it's you're looking for a defensive you throw away holy nova and it's an aggro druid and right now i am running steam cleaner uh when we started running we put steam cleaner the wind went way up because as for putting a tech card in uh, i think we had played eight players death knights the previous night uh and like out of like 14 games which is absurd we put in steam cleaner we haven't played one to play death knight since this card will probably get cut eventually um but that being said uh the the list overall feels really good um and uh in the etc i'm running just duplicates of cards we want uh i could see cutting one of these for a viper or uh if this but we just don't even need it right now uh, we'd rather have these things like the second creation court all the set shard of the silence i haven't even quite figured out mulgans i'm probably keeping plague spreader uh a love everlasting maybe an identity theft maybe an astralor but mulgans are tricky uh, you know i probably keep elite uh i've been keeping elise in Rito along the last spots but i'm not exactly sure so uh it, it is a little tricky uh on mulgans uh, because you know you're not you're not curving out one two three so you it's a lot about picking out what you need for that matchup so uh, i kind of am doing it instinctually so I don't have great mulligans for you guys, but I think this is uh, archetype is getting more and more refined. Will be a legit meta to contender, especially the two reasons why is it I am crushing rogues and rogue is shooting up in popularity, and I think I'm the one. The, this is the only deck that kind of crushes rogues, and um, I think we do well against um druid as well that we think against mage and death knight uh which is why i was doing really bad on day one and you know the list wasn't as refined and now the meta is shifting and i changed the list so we were better kind of overall and we seem to be just crushing the meta i have over 40 games so with over 60 percent win rate so this isn't you know a little drop in the pan so uh deck feels great anyways uh i got some games for you guys enjoy Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Turn three swarm of lightning bugs. Don't have grease. Need some sludge. Many minions. 
The earth too many is upon us. Too many mm. That actually just ruins my uh, What do I want to do here, chat? I don't even know. We have an awkward turn here. Of like what I to spend my mana on. So wait, what did they do? They did like, I don't want furnished fuel, right? Like, these cards, chat, their deck is kind of worthless to me. Maybe I do this anyways. Our gift of the arcade. I just don't really like any of my other plays. Wait, chat, do I get ruined by Steam Cleaner as well? Wait, man. Wait, man. How much damage am I gonna get take here? Do I even take a lot? Is this even that good of a play? I feel like this play wasn't actually that good. It's my gut. Like it. Like, what did it actually do? I think that what this, that this play did is prove that their deck is trash. <laughs> I guess I'm giving some more sludgy boys. My steam clearing ruins you? Yeah, uh, but does it even? Like, I don't know. I'm not convinced it does. Yeah, they're just playing these by hand, chat. They're gonna die. Chat, we climbing. We climbing all the way to rank one. Stream is going to get. What is your uh, win condition with Blood Death Knight uh, without Svalna? Um, really, we just keep playing things, but yeah, we kind of. Uh, um, Click Sweater is really important to beat Blood Death Knight, by the way. Um, but we kind of just keep playing things, uh, you know, things like Duplicate Rada and Duplicate Abmathul, really kind of abusing the value. Um, so. 
Very fast explanation. Uh, much like the speed of the surveys, it takes about two to three minutes to fill out a survey. Uh, I know somebody did 25 the other day. Uh, I think they're going for this 50. They can do up, you can do up to 25 per day. That's the maximum. Uh, but yeah, uh, it helps It helps out the stream and it helps out you guys because you get a big prize at the end. So that's why, I, you know, uh, and they're pretty fun. You just get out, you know, give your opinions on stuff. Uh, and you know, Mark, I, uh, they, they want to know your opinion so they can, you know, better make better to help, uh, better decisions. So, yeah, so very fast. Congrats. So, cold case. Uh, I wanted that coin chat. Star power right? I don't think so. I think I take infinitized to maxitude. This, this is kind of garbage, right? Um, I can play this right away. I like that. A smidge of this, a pinch of that. chat opinions that's what i thought i was like but chat tells me things it never goes right for me but they're like we disagree um so yeah discover a spell from any class <laughs> Ugh, wrong ingredients <clears throat> Looks like objection, unfortunately. <laughs> You're the opposite of a chat. Thanks, chat. If you had a, if you had a clock that was all, you know, they say a broken clock is wrong twice a day or right twice a day. But if you had a clock that was literally always wrong, that would be valuable because you could always know what the wrong answer is, right? Since when has the wrong answer been useful? The wrong answer is useful if you know it's wrong. Like the fact, uh, the fact is so, um, let's say I know uh, a deck, uh, so like this is like process elimination in logic problems. If you know, like you ever have a, like, okay, is this person in that room or that room? Uh, if you have a, a situation where you know, like, uh, you know, uh, Professor McGonagall or Professor Green is not in the library, then that helps you eliminate and helps you find the right answer, right? So. Uh, that's the logic there, so... What do I do, Chad? What do I do? Objectioned? Any undead minions here? Not really. Could get undead minion later though. This is. I don't know. 
Ever drop plague spreader? This is nice, right? Wait, Deathborn, dude! No! All right, here we go, chat. Elise has to carry for us here. All right, here we go. I didn't intentionally pursue leadership, but I find it quite suits me. actually went pretty well chat like we got um we got a nice little board here um yeah it went pretty well i mean this could just end it with like sif you know No, no, wait. They wouldn't be playing this unless, okay. Hey, that's the one minion I didn't want to die. Like, hey, right, whatever. Um, okay, okay, okay. High chance of hitting Zillix, right? I didn't intentionally pursue leadership, but I find it quite suits me. Got the Zillix here. Um, Primitive. You have no place. I'm trying to figure out what I do here. Um, like, there's a case for me, like, trading here and then going, like, harmonic pop to, um, to activate the plague spreader here, right? It's, pre it's pretty reasonable. Um, I don't know what else to do. I, I don't know what to do, though, like, otherwise. Um, Those animation times are terrible there on the infantilize, but yeah, this works out pretty well, chat, because uh, we got um, we got to plague spread, so that means um, it's a little awkward for them. We got an astralor ready here, um, that's good.
No lethal chat? You have no place, Frostbolt! Uh, wrong ingredient! You are unwise and unfit! Our gift of fire empowers us! Got him! Let's go, dude! Or should I buy more rune stones? Uh, both. Both are true. Love Everlasting here is absurdly good. Uh, if they go the, the big boy now, I have an answer. Uh, if they could like, go that 4 mana 3 6, the 3 mana 3 6, that just ends the game. Well, I could steal a coin, which is actually like probably the best thing to hit here, because then I can get a turn six at least. Did I hit? It? Oh, I hit it! I hit a coin. Okay, good. Chad, do I go coin drilly the kid here, or do I just go uh, comma giant? Like I also could go coin drilly the kid. Is double excavation. Which is quite nice, right? But I could, I, I can, I'm looking at a turn five at least, though. Um, that I can't, br Drilly is more fun. Yeah, it is more fun. Okay, you convinced me. And it also, if it sticks, we get the Zillion to it, right? So. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, it got me a lot of value. Let's see what they do here. This jerk one. Hand is too full. Could go Zillix and Buffet here. I could rather wait a turn. I must consider. <laughs> How do you win without Rainbow Tempo. Uh, so when I play Elise, I get a giant board of five fives. Not only that, but they have Rush, Divine Shield, uh, Amantul removes stuff uh, and generates stuff. Uh, you get Rotten, and then all of a sudden it brings back all these cards. So you can make these boards that are absolutely miserable to deal with, uh, and you just and then you can do it again. So really, your opponent like has to actually what you lose to is aggro. Um, you don't really need the inevitability of Rivendare. Uh, like the meta 
is not that controlly. You know, by that I mean it's like the meta isn't the spot where you know you have to play a long value war. Um Nobody attacked me. Kind of frustrating. I get another drilly the kid with this though. I'm gonna do this. The legacy of the Titan can never die. I can't allow myself to watch Priest all day. What do I have in my deck? I have Plague Spreader. I have ETC. I have Amonthul. I don't have Yogg. Do I only have three? Oh, it's Fiend Cleaner. Okay. So I think I'm guaranteed to get all the minions. Just for the... As long as they don't top deck Amonthul here. So Lease is at least okay. Lock your sins away. Time is almost up. That's bad. Any minion top deck is bad here, but we'll be okay. I didn't intentionally pursue leadership, but I find it quite suits me. Do I ever want to just copy this um, and get a like? I get a five seven. I think I like that. No, 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 no. It seems really annoying. Gather in harmony. Colossus. So I can't actually pull off right. Yeah, it's like a nine health untargetable with reborn. Seems pretty annoying. No, dude. I needed that chat. I needed. A world cleansed of evil. Is almost up. Why was no one playing this deck? Because I had to invent it, dude. This deck did not exist. There was a Rivendare version that existed. There were control versions, but my version... Uh, and my version wouldn't have been as good. Like, the Zillex, the health 
on the Elise actually matters a ton. Uh, being five fives, because we're trying to win with tempo, matters a lot. So. Almost up. Uh, problem is like they kind of are outvaluing us here, but um, we still have things like creation portal to like mass almond duel, which could win us the game. Um, but do I take any nutritional supplements? I have vitamins that I barely use, so not really. Uh, I take do protein shakes with whey protein. Uh, sometimes I'll use them very frequently. Sometimes I won't probably have about three on average like two to three protein shakes a week so that some people count that as a nutritional support Stone shake that sounds delicious, modern giant. Sounds like exactly what the doctor ordered. Chat, I want to put in a short stream because I don't want anyone to host me because I gotta end the stream soon. So I know normally I'm streaming later, so sometimes people host me now. I don't want to be like, don't host me. Yeah, dude, it's a it's a fun it's a it's a big sex cult night. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Just ask ever after raid me. Uh, she'll have to raid me another time. Appreciate it though. Hmm. I want more Yogs here, chat. I kind of do. I have to make this value war go along a little bit longer, right? Yeah, it's an explosive arm. Uh, but like, I mean, they're almost out of value here, so I think I can win a value war here. Also, now I can go steam cleaner plus Zilix for an eight. We got a need Hey, he copied this dude for one that he got off of this. Wait, that's so broken, chat. Am I actually gonna get scammed like this? Oh my god, chat. They discovered Rockmaster Boon. Enemy means called help next turn? Bro. That's so bad for me. 
My aft. Our time is almost up. Oh no, dude. Chat, top deck Greeno Jackson here. So I could do Steam Cleaner Zilix if I uh, decide that's a good play. Go creation protocol. What do I want to draw here? Amanthor. Wait, 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 wait. I could go, okay. I could go Amanthor with like a Zilix and then copy the Zilix, but like that's too much life. I don't have enough life for that. Hmm. Right? Or do I? I guess I technically do. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um. No, Chad, I'm too slow. It was actually a brilliant play. I could have done it for more. <laughs> I got in more heal, chat. Oh, God, it was actually such a good play. Uh, but I was too slow. I could have got another almond tool there and got another 13 for heal in that six. All right? Let's see if they... That was a pretty five head play though, right? You gotta admit. Whirlpooling me. No! I lose my almond pool. Uh Chad, I could have healed from more. Hey, what? What if I just draw Reno Jackson chat? That would be great. Almost up. Oh, Jim's is a really good game. Uh, not good. Oh, how many of the kids have they played this game? Yeah, son of a gun.
you. Well, that was Cass. Yeah, where is my Reno? Holy crap, chat. Uh, I could also use like Tram Heist. Um, right, well, this ETC creation protocol has nothing to draw, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, Reno is the way we win because we get more value, right? So, I don't know. Is y'all good enough to craft for this deck? Uh, so these are questions that are very loaded. Is y'all good in this deck? Yeah. Uh, do we know like how to make the perfect deck? Probably not. But the point is, um, if you don't craft Yogg, ooh, I mean, you don't really need it, right? You don't need Yogg. You can play this deck without Yogg, but your win rate would be a little lower. My win rate's not even that good, right? So, is it worth it? Pro like, here's the thing. If you have to ask me that, you should probably just go play an aggro deck. That's the reality of it. Um, it's not meant to be. <clears throat> Chad, Chad, we won. Let's go, dude. Run! Let's do that on the website. I then proceeded to figure out uh, sacrificial packs. Uh, and cut some of the stuff. The next week, Yao Kran Warlock was the best deck in the game. Went from not even mentioned, not even an archetype worth mentioning, to the best deck in the game with a few small card choices. All right, uh, that is the reality. Sometimes the decks are this close to being broken, but the, you have to find the right card, and sometimes that right card doesn't exist yet. Sometimes that, that right card comes out next expansion. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, Chad, that was uh, my inspirational no hand speech. You <laughs> invented Zoo, and that's exactly. Me, uh, Raina had stole it from me, actually, and took credit for it. What a jerk, right? for me. Do they really not want um Looks like they're like really afraid of this plague spreader effect. Choose 
What's going on here? Do I have tram heights in my hand? Oh, uh, I see. Oh, I can steal their Colossus chat, which is actually insane. Ooh, I guess a ring of tides. All right. So it wasn't even that good, to be honest. Um, serrated bone spike. Ooh, break dance with Elise is kind of insane, right? I think I prefer that serrated bone spike. Have I played any cards for this? No. I could take a ETC and take creation protocol. I take like an almond tool or something. What? Chat, my Elise, though. That's so. Is that even better? Uh, Chat, I guess I gotta go. Um, I gotta go mass. Uh, I think I want to get a uh, Amontol here. Doing good. Wow, these suck. This is not what I want to chat. I could take Zilix here, but that kind of sucks, right? That's not what I wanted to see, chat. Why no forge? Because uh, I wanted to play it this turn so I can tempo out a seven drop next turn. So if I do that, then I, it completely Fs up my next turn. So a lot of times, you know, you can't be greedy with this deck because we already are so greedy by the nature of our deck. We have to go for high tempo plays. Matter of fact, forge would have been bad because I would have had two copies of a crappy minion there, which I would have not liked. Um, does that make sense? But I might go for it this turn, I don't know. Shit, I don't think I do. I think I just want to grab like an omelet. I don't know, actually. It's a weird one here. Hmm. Look what the play is here. This is kind of dangerous. Alright. There's two almond duels. Alright, I think I need to kill this. They're just too dangerous to be left alive. So my plan here is to go Amontul, Amontul, and then like Rodden, and then like a Power Cord, and like win with that kind of ridiculous value. So. Take two and call you the morning.
if I get this down, it's like kind of endless boards of with rod and right? Like Glug kind of ends it here, I think so. Um, do I even need to kill this Potion Master here? I feel like I don't. Um, I feel like I'm better off just chilling. <clears throat> yeah, so I can go Glug. And then I just go Rodden and like bring a Rodden back. Eight times. Seems kind of good. Look at this chat. Together in harmony. Incredible. Wait, oh, I can't use it. Crap. Okay. We're good. <laughs> chat me like you. Monsters beneath you. Nice dead you got there. <laughs> gluggy glug. Chat crushing the rogues. Crushing the rogues, chat. Oh, it's like embarrassing for the rogues. Chat, if you're a rogue, you should be embarrassed. Like really. <laughs> <laughs> 